Okay, so this is Lance from Binary Core, and this week I had a week off work, so I thought I'd spend the majority of the time gaming, maybe getting through some games that I haven't played for a while that I've wanted to, or games that I just need to finish off and get achievements on, uh, try and go for that thousand game score that's so elusive that a lot of people have a lot of problems with getting. So what I thought I'd do is record a lot of it, not all of it, because that would a week's worth of footage is quite a lot, but I thought I'd try and get most of it in. Uh, then each day do a little review of what I did the day before, talk about the games, my thoughts on games that I haven't played, and yeah, put it on the internet, see what everyone thought about Matt's week off in gaming. So the first game I played yesterday was Assassin's Creed 3. That kind of sucked. Uh, I started it, well to be fair I started it Monday night, um, and this is retrospective so I'm talking about yesterday, because obviously we need time to record and edit everything. So <clears throat> Assassin's Creed 3 sucked off. It took me a day to finish. Haven't gone through and done the epilogue or any of the extra stuff. But the game itself, kind of shit. What the fuck happened there? I really enjoyed... I hated Assassin's Creed 1, but I really enjoyed Assassin's Creed 2. I uh, really liked Brotherhood. thought it was a really good idea. The story made sense. Revelations, pushing it a little bit. But still okay, overall. And then Assassin's Creed 3. I thought, yeah, this is supposed to be it. Like, they'll, they'll bring it back because it's the main title and it should be good. And Connor seemed cool. And the premise of being in America and being around with the revolution, that seemed like a really good idea. I ended up not caring about the game. I didn't like Connor. I preferred Kenway. He was much cooler of a character, even though he was Templar. Spoilers, by the way. Even though he was Templar, which I didn't see coming, which was quite well written, I thought he was an assassin that had gone to America to build an order. But it turned out he was a Templar, which was pretty cool. But his character, even when you knew he was a Templar, his character was a lot cooler than Connor. Connor was kind of a whiny bitch. And I don't feel like it added much to the story. I know it kind of tied off the whole Juno saving the world from the solar flare thing. But I don't know. It didn't. It didn't sit well with me. It felt like they were just, like the whole having to find the key thing, just seemed like an excuse to make a game, when they could have quite easily just made the game about Desmond looking for power sources and using his bleeding effect powers that he's learned. Skills, I guess, not powers. They're not really magical, so I don't think they count as powers. But yeah, so um, I didn't enjoy it at all. I kind of I. J I finished it because I wanted to get to the end, uh, but it wasn't because the story was dragging me along to the end. I didn't feel like I was going for a ride, like I have with, with like I did with Brotherhood and AC Two. But I just I wanted to get through it and wield myself through it, and I shouldn't have to push myself to get through a game. And I shouldn't and <laughs> never normally take as many breaks from a game where I just pause it and go, do you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go do something else, something sensible on my holiday instead of gaming, which I don't like doing. I, wa I wanted to spend my whole week playing games that I really enjoyed, and Assassin's Creed 3 ruined that for me. It wasn't the best choice to start with, I think. I was warned about it, and I did know what the ending was before I played it, because I looked it up to piss off Adam so I could laugh at him about it. But I thought maybe the build-up to that would be better than it was, and it really wasn't. Um, the world was too big, which I've never norm I've never said that about a game before. I normally like the exploring, running around stuff, but the parts where you had to go and find like your mission start, and it was on the other side of the frontier from where you started, I didn't enjoy that. I thought it was a waste of time. Um, running through trees, nowhere near as cool as I thought it was going to be. It actually tended to waste more time than it saved, which I thought the whole point of parkour and free running was to save time. But running through trees did not help. Um, Achilles was a cool character though. I liked him. At least he kind of stood by his principles. But Connor, Connor was a terrible assassin. The Assassin's Creed game wasn't even really an Assassin's Creed game. Like, I remember talking to Blaze about this. And he said that not once did they ever mention that everything is true. Nothing is permitted. Wait, no. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Creed. And I was like, oh, I must have mentioned it somewhere. It's an Assassin's Creed game. They've got to. It's kind of the whole point of the Assassin's Creed. But they never did, which was really sad. 
Um, so I didn't feel like it was an Assassin's Creed game. I didn't feel ever feel like an assassin. I felt more like a more badass foot soldier who was going around doing stuff for generals and kings and Washington and all that. I just didn't enjoy it. Um, and at the end of the game, I kind of felt like Kenway and admittedly Charles Lee was a dick, but Kenway's vision of what America should be like and especially looking at how America is not exactly the freest place in the world at the moment, even though it's supposed to be. I kind of thought maybe the Templars had it right in that instance. And if Connor had gone through and actually worked with Kenway and they'd worked something out, maybe everything would have been roses, but then I suppose they had to kind of make it true to history if they wanted to stick it in with the rest of the games. But I don't know. Now the game's ended, I thought, okay, that's it. Not a problem. Like, the game's finished. I'm glad that it's over. But now they're making Assassin's Creed 4, and you're a pirate, which sounds interesting. But if it involves being on the ship, and if it's still the Aquila, like it is in 3, I'm not going to enjoy it because I didn't enjoy the boat parts either. I thought they were like an interesting mini game where they'd add something to the story, but they don't. They're just kind of ship. So, overall, very disappointed in Assassin's Creed 3. But um, I recorded some gameplay footage of it anyway, and it'll be popping up around on this video. You'll see it. I'm probably not very. Maybe I missed a lot of things. Maybe if I did go through and do all of the extra side missions and the contracts and finding all the almanac pages for Benjamin Franklin, maybe I would have enjoyed it more. Maybe there's more story that I'm missing. But the whole point of an Assassin's Creed, as far as I can tell, is to take you back to history and feel like you were there. And it did with Ezio. And it did with Altair, even though the game sucked. With Altair, I felt like I was doing the stuff that had to be done. With Connor, I didn't feel like I was affecting anything. It felt more like I was just spectating, and I didn't enjoy that. Um, I'm glad, I was glad that it wasn't Ezio though. Like, I love Ezio, everyone's second favourite Italian game character. But, just, I don't know. It didn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game. And I'm hoping that the next one will feel more like it. Or it won't it'll evolve into something completely different and it won't be so much about being an assassin anymore. And they have the, a new story to tell. But I don't know how they're gonna fit that in. The Desmond parts were cool though, I have to admit that. Being Desmond and using his skills, the small the couple of missions that you did like running around the Abstergo offices or the football stadium, the wrestling stadium in Brazil. They were really interesting and I really enjoyed all of those bits. So yeah, that was day one of Matt's gaming holiday. Uh, tomorrow, well today I guess, uh, I will probably be playing Hitman because I haven't played that yet and I've heard lots of good things. So we'll see how that goes. I'll record some more and I'll do another video tomorrow and let you know how it all went. Okay, bye-bye.